on his nails today. Screen pass, DJ Moore. Good job in space. That is not an easy play for the excellent veteran safety. Do that with the rookie QB. He'll pass it. Titans bring some pressure. Williams out of the pocket. Looking downfield, floats it for Moore. Bears sideline wanted a flag. There was maybe a little bit of contact with the new corner, Legereus Sneed. Four-man rush on third and short. Williams slinging it, looking for Keenan Allen. And overthrew it. Williams kind of shaking his head after that. Titans show pressure. They'll bring just four. Williams, short route, Allen, first down. They'll keep the offense out there. You know, that'll get your head spinning with those two studs in the backfield. Williams under pressure. That is a big man chasing him. <laughs> and Williams unable to get away from Sebastian Joseph Day. Second and Elmhurst. Four-man rush again. Williams stepping up and delivering, and it's broken up. He was trying to find Romo Dunze. Eight, nine yards here to try to get into more comfortable field goal range for Cairo Santos. Screen, as expected, this is another new addition in Gerald Everett, and the Titans shut that down too. Roger McCreary, the third-year nickel. Make it to Swift on the rollout. Williams on the move, looking for DJ Moore, who just absolutely snatched that line drive for a gain of 11 at the 41. What a catch by Moore. He's out. DeAndre Carter is in. Williams throwing left. He's got Keenan Allen and a couple of completions consecutively to get the ball out near midfield. Just shy of the line to gain. It'll be second and one. Five-man pressure, late one. Throwing deep down the sideline, Williams. He was trying to find Carter, who had the rookie in coverage. This crowd is silent, and I would imagine restless right now. Williams, there is a connection to DJ Moore to get all that yardage back. It'll be there third down and one. Five in the pattern for Williams. Slings it, looking for Moore. Pumped into the air. It is caught by Odunze. He lost the ball, and then it's recovered by Chicago. It is a first down. Tevin Jenkins recovered it, keeping it alive for Caleb Williams to find Cole Komet. He's out of bounds. The clock will keep moving inside a minute. Brock moves on the signal. Here's the snap. Williams to the goal line. It's dropped by Keenan Allen. Pressure coming. Williams has that one batted into the air. To Vondre Sweat, along with the rest of that front, bringing some pressure. That was a big one. Here comes some pressure from Tennessee. It was protected. Allen could not snare that one as he was lined up. See them loading up the line here on third down and four. Williams, little comeback route, and it's caught by DJ Moore as they convert a third down for the first time today. And he's trying to establish a solid one here with Caleb Williams. The 48. Fake it to Swift. Pressure coming off the edge from Hooker. And a fluttering pass. Amani Hooker from the safety spot bringing that pressure off the right side. Swift in motion. Four-man rush. That one gets batted. But we've seen a lot of tip balls and some dangerous fluttering passes. Sebastian Joseph Day is from multiple spots on the field, not just be a scrambling and improvisational QB. Four-man rush. Williams gets brought down by an excellent pass rusher in Harold Landry. Bears are averaging 1.5 yards per carry. League average is 4.2. Williams off the hand of DeAndre Swift. Third and long. Coming up. There's another pressure look. Caleb having to figure things out at the line of scrimmage. Here it comes. Williams gets rid of it to Odunze, and it's incomplete. It would have been short of the sticks regardless. It was a 13-yard reception to DJ Moore. Oh, mama. And Williams turns around and has James Lynch, the former Minnesota Viking, who did not play all of last year due to a torn ACL. That could get you big plays in the backfield. Williams with eight back in coverage is looking for a window Trying to make some magic happen and it's incomplete for DJ Moore who won a couple of titles But now getting a major opportunity with Tennessee Williams trying to find an alley 
still on the move. He's going to have to take off, and he'll run for the first down. And speak the language. Pressure coming from Tennessee, so Williams gets rid of it to Allen quickly for a first down. Out to the 49-yard line. Williams, quick toss. Keenan Allen again, and the veterans starting to forge a connection in front of the linebacker, Murray. And this is starting to look a little more like Caleb Williams at USC. On a bottle of the snap, Williams picks it up. Stops, fires, end zone, Allen overthrown. The rookie left tackle, Latham, let Taylor go. Oh, wow, Romo Dunze was coming across, and... Four-man rush on second and long. Rifle shot underneath for Carter. And a good job by Murray, the former Charger, to coach these guys up. Second year for Rand Carthon as the GM. Williams on third and long is going to take off and smartly slides well done. within Cairo Santos's field goal range. Is the longest Bears offensive play of the day with five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Now Bayless Jones hangs on to that one and picks up good yardage to set up second and short. Fake it to Swift. Williams on the run. Not a whole lot of room, and that's a smart play to stay in bounds and keep the clock moving. He's got more behind Carter. That looks like a screen it play. Is. What do you know? It is. Oh. But that's a phenomenal wow. job by Roger McCreary, the nickel corner. He's going to win a game with a 55.5 rating and 92 yards through the air. Not quite how you drew it up. The defense knew that it would have to help carry the load for the rookie quarterback and the offense that's trying to figure it out. And they absolutely did that today.